Hello friends, welcome to the LFX online tutorial. My name is Master Jaffet. Today we'll be dealing on living organisms. If you are so inquisitive, you would have crossed your mind that there are billions and billions of living things on it. Of course, living thing is anything that has life in them. So if there are billions of living things on it, all living things cannot be placed on the same order. Living things are therefore placed in hierarchy. There are living things, of course, greater than other living things. In no sense can you compare a lion to a snail. Today, we'll be dealing on the classification of all living things. Taxonomy. Taxonomy is a topic in biology that helps us classify all living things under their respective hierarchy. I will list out the hierarchy taxonomy gave us as an order for the classification of all living things. Here are the order at which we are going to classify every living thing. We have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Yeah, for kingdom, there are five kingdoms that exist. Every living thing are placed under five kingdoms. Here are the list of kingdoms we have. We have protista, fungi, monera, plantae, and alimane, plants and animal. So, we are going to be classifying human, you. What classification do we fall under? We fall under the animal. So we highlight animal out. Every other living thing fall under some of all these classifications you can see here. For instance, plants fall under plants. Monera, fungi, and protista like the amoebas. Since we are considering animal, we want to know our hierarchy. So we go to phylum. How do we are considering plants? It will be called phylum, it will be called division or well, since we are considering animal we go to phylum let's see some of the list of phylums under the kingdom animalia here are some of the list of phylums under the kingdom animalia we have the porifera we have the platehemites we have the anelidia we have the mollusca we have the anthropoda and we have codacta there are other examples we have the uh, Echidomata, we have the pieces and so on. For example, for the Prophera, you find the sponges, the Platyhemites, that's where you find flat worms, and in Lydia, you find the worms, Mollusca, you find snails, Anthropod, that's where you find insects, yeah, and Codacta, our attention, animals with cord, that's what, it, that's what it's called, animals with cord. So our attention is here, this is where we fall under. So we highlight it, call data. I want to analyze the classes under these codactors. The classes under these codactors. Uh, there are several classes under these codactors. I'm going to list out a few because of our time. Here are the list, some lists we have under the codactors. So we have the reptilian, the amphibians, apes, and uh, mammalians. We have other examples like agnata, examples of apes like the birds, reptilia, lizard, amphibian, frog. Mammalian is our target, warm blooded living organisms, and that's where we fall under. So we are going for mammalians. Next, let's check the orders of mammalian and where we fall under. Under the mammalian, we have the carnivore, the rodentia, the primates. Carnivores are animals that feed on flesh alone. Rodents, rodentias are, are animals with smooth skull. While primates are animals that have forward facing eyes and opposing thumbs. And many other characteristics. We fall under primates. Under the primates, we have several families. We have about three families. Homonidia belongs to the great apes. 
including gorillas, chipazins, oranguta, and even humans, we fall under the humonidia. Now, under the humonidia, we have several genus like the pan, gorilla, pongo, and the humu. Uh, the pan, examples of the pans like the chipazin, the bonobos, the gorilla, gorilla of course, the pongo, the oranguta, why the humu? The humu are the species that are advanced and have cognitive ability. Let's go to the species. So where we have our category now we the humans are named homo sapiens homo sapiens notes homo is our genius and sapiens is our what special this is the botanical name for human and that is the origination of the botanical name of every living thing and classification of every living thing based on hierarchy homo sapiens appears to be the highest on the hierarchy list now you know your hierarchy in the taxonomy of living thing okay here is the question on the taxonomy of living thing this question says the branch of biology that deals with the principle of classification of organism is known as you are correct taxonomy you are right taxonomy is the branch of biology that deals with the classification of living organisms this is an exam standard question let me give you one more exam standard question before we say goodbye it says homo habilis is commonly referred to as a the wise man b the upright man c the handy man d the modern man find the answer and drop your answer in the comment section what is homo habilis <laughs>